Lesson number one, telling time. In this video presentation, we are visiting the elementary special ed class of Ms. Kelly Mitchell. The seven boys and five girls in the class range in age from nine to 12 years. These students are in this class because each has demonstrated an inability to function at grade level in at least two subject areas. This first vignette depicts Kelly teaching a lesson about telling time. As she teaches the class, she will be employing a very structured and explicit model of instruction. Research shows that the use of this model with these students results in much time on task, high student success levels, fewer student management problems, and more learning content covered. Of particular interest is the research-supported use of a brisk pace of instruction, signals to elicit student responses, large group versus independent instruction, and unison responses providing success opportunities for all students. It should be noted that Kelly does not use the model exclusively, but it does represent a significant portion of her instruction. The materials accompanying this videotape include a profile of the class, a lesson plan, a timeline of the lesson to serve as a model, and instruments for appraising the lessons and the teacher's performance. Also, as with each of these visits, a set of national norms is provided so that you can compare your judgments with those of evaluators across the country. As you view the tape, a digital clock will appear at the top of the screen every 30 seconds for your reference, in case you want to make your own timeline of the lesson. Remember that the lesson has been edited for instructional purposes. Okay. We're going to start out today with working on half hour and hour. We've worked on this before, and we're going to review it to begin with. Okay. We're going to go over some reminders. How do we count around the clock by five? Okay, let's do that right now. We're going to count by five to 100. What number are we going to start with? Five. Okay, are you ready? Go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Okay. That's how we count it around the clock. When it is o'clock and on the hour, the minute hand is always on the? 12. Where is it? 12. It's always on the 12. Okay. What time does this clock show right now? Raise your hand if you know. Good. Everybody, what time does it say? Four o'clock. What time does it say? Four o'clock. Good. What time does this clock say now? Raise your hand if you know. The minute hand is on the 12, the hour hand is on the 7. What time is it? What hour is it? Everybody? Seven o'clock. What time is it? Seven o'clock. Okay. What time is this? Everybody raise your hand if you know. Minute hand is on the 12, hour hand is on the 9. What time is that? Everybody, what time is it? 9 o'clock. What time is it? 9 o'clock. Okay, that's the hour. Now, let's go to the half hour that we worked on. When we're working on the half hour, that means that it's 30 minutes past the hour. Let's count by fives down to the six and see what we land on. Ready? Go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30 minutes past the hour. What hour is it? Raise your hand if you know. What hour is that? Everybody, what hour is that? 10 o'clock. Okay, let's go 30 minutes past that. 
Now, what half hour do I have? Half hour past 10 o'clock. Raise your hand if you know. 30 minutes past 10 o'clock. Everybody, what time does it say? 10.30. What time does it say? 10.30. Good. Let's do another one. Here's the hour. What's the hour? Raise your hand if you know. What time is it, everybody? 2 o'clock. Okay, now, 30 minutes past 2 o'clock is what time? Raise your hand if you know. Everybody? 2.30. What time is it? 2.30. It's 30 minutes past 2 o'clock. So it's 2.30. Now, today we're going to work on the five-minute intervals. Okay? Different minutes after the hour. We're going to start with this hour. What hour is that? Everybody raise your hand if you know. What time does that clock say? Everybody? 3 o'clock. What time? 3 o'clock. Okay, I would like you to put this on your clock. The minute hand is on the? 12. Where's the minute hand, everybody? The 12. And the hour hand is on the? 3. Right. Okay. I want your clock to say exactly what that clock says. Good, Chris. Now lay it down on your desk. Good. 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 Okay, leave it like that and leave it down on your desk in front of you. Okay, now, I want that minute hand to move to 10 minutes after 3. If I'm just starting to do this, then what am I going to count by? What did we say? We're going to count by fives. Right. So you count for me as I move the minute hand, all right? Five, ten. That's what I wanted. I wanted 10 minutes past 3. So I stop at the 10. Gabe, I want you to look up here. I don't want you to change your clock yet. I want you to just watch up here. All right? I counted by 5 to 10. This clock shows 10 minutes after 3. Now I want to hear you count. Did I move my hour hand? Yes or no? Yes. No. I did not move this hour hand. Did I move my hour hand? Yeah. No. It's still, we're showing minutes after 3 o'clock, so we don't need to move the hour hand. I want you to put your hand on your minute hand, everybody. Jimmy, let's go. Put your hand on your minute hand, and as you count by fives, stopping at 10, move that hand, and I'll do it with you. Ready? Go. 5, 10. Your minute hand is on what number? Raise your hand. What number is your minute hand on? Everybody, what number is your minute hand on? The two. two. Where is it? Two. two. It's on the two. Okay, go back to three o'clock. Should look exactly like that. Back to 3 o'clock. Fine. Eyes back up here, please. Okay, now I want to show 35 minutes after 3 o'clock. So I'm going to count up to 35 by 5 and then stop. On my clock, I'll move the minute hand. You do the counting with me, all right? And we're going to count by? Five. Starting with? We're going to count by five, starting with one. five. Okay, we're going to start with five. Okay, are you ready? And we're going to stop at 35. What are we going to stop at? 35. 35. Okay, ready? Go. Five, ten, 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 wait a minute, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Okay, did my hour, your hour hand will move a little bit on a real clock, but it's still by the three. And my minute hand is now on what number? Raise your hand if you know. My minute hand is on what number now? What 
what number is my minute hand on? Everybody, what number is my minute hand on? The seven. seven. Right. It's on the seven. And that is 3.35. What time does this clock say? 3.35. What time? 3.35. Okay. Now, on your clock, I want you to show me, let's switch to a different hour. Six o'clock. Show me six o'clock on your clock. Okay, good. Everybody's got six o'clock. Great. Now back down, good. Back on your desk. Now, I'm not going to move this clock. I'm going to give you a time, and I want to hear you count. We're going to count together. Okay, I would like you to show me 620. Okay, don't move anything yet. Put your hand on the minute hand only. The minute hand. Okay. All right. Minute hand, Jimmy. I want to see a hand or a finger on the minute hand. Okay, we're going to count by fives. Are you ready? And we're going to stop at what time did I say? Melinda, what time did I say? Okay, 6.25. Um, so we're going to stop at 25. Are you ready? I want to hear everybody counting by. Five, starting with five. Okay, are you ready? Go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Stop. Okay. And then I want your eyes up here. Okay, now we're going to do it on mine. And you look at your clock and see if it says the same thing. Eyes up here, please. Okay, you ready? Count again. 225 by fives. Go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's what your clock should look like to say 625. Make sure it says that right now, please. Make sure. How many people had their clock like this? Raise your hand if you had your clock. Good, Melinda. Good. 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 Good, Connie. Are your hands right? Check your hour hand and your minute hand. Good, Jimmy. Okay, Calvin, do you see how we did that? Count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay, and that's the number we were going to stop at. Okay, clocks down and eyes back up here. Okay, now I want you to show me 15 minutes after 12 o'clock. This is a little easier one. Stop, eyes up here. 15 minutes after 12 o'clock. You're going to count by? Five. You're going to count by? Five. Starting with? Five. All right. Ready? You move yours. I'm not going to get your hand on the minute hand. Ready? Count by fives. 2.15. Ready? Go. 5, 10, 15. Stop. Okay. Eyes back up here, please. Okay. Now, I want you to count by fives as I move my minute hand. Eyes up here, please. Okay, ready? Go. 5, 5 10, 15. 15. That's 12, 15. Your clock should look like that. Hold it up if it does. Good. 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 Great. Good. Good. Okay, that's 12, 15. Now, on your own, I'd like you to find for me, 2.40. Eyes up here, wait. First, I want you to find 2 o'clock. What time? 2, two o'clock. Right. Find your hour first. Find 2 o'clock. And then, and then, I want you to find 40 minutes past 2 o'clock. Okay, go. First, find your hour, and then find 40 minutes past 2 o'clock. Find 2 o'clock first, Calvin. Okay, now find 40 minutes past. Find 2 o'clock. This is your hour hand, this is your minute. Find 2 o'clock for me. No, this is your minute hand. This is your hour hand. Now, if it's o'clock, the hour hand is always on the? 12. Right, now count by fives, only moving your minute hand you get to 40. Okay, Jimmy's got it. Linda's got it. Gabe's got it. Calvin's got it. 240, Connie. 
Your hour hand should be on the two, and your minute hand should be on the eight. Right. Good. Okay, I'm going to find two o'clock. What time is this? Two o'clock. Now I'm going to count 40 minutes. You count by five, starting with five. Around the clock, 240. Ready? Go. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. My time is 240. What time is it? 240. Okay, good. Now, on this worksheet, you need to draw the hand, the hour, the hour or the minute hand. Okay. And the clock, the one hand is already on the clock, and then you need to write the time at the bottom. Okay, let's review first up here. Eyes up here, please. Okay, we count around the clock by Five, starting with five. There are two hands on the clock. One, the longer one is the minute or hour hand, which? Minute. What hand is it? Minute. And the smaller hand is hour or minute, which? Hour. Right. Okay. Go ahead and start your worksheet. You have to look at if that's a minute or an hour hand. So you need to get a minute hand to make it five o'clock. Okay, Calvin. This is the minute hand or the hour hand. So you need to get a minute hand and make it five o'clock. Okay, that's the hour hand. Chris, this is the hour hand. Right. Good. Perfect. You do the minute hand. Good. Okay. If that's five o'clock, Michael, where should that minute hand be? Mm -hmm. On the yeah. right. Good. Is that the hour or the minute hand? <laughs> right. You need to draw your hands, Jenny. Okay, and if this is five o'clock, okay, good. When you have the first row done, I want you to stop and put your pencil down. Gabe? Okay. That's your hour hand to draw your minute hand. Thank you. That's your hour hand. Now you draw your minute hand to make it 5 o'clock. Okay, good. And then you have to write the time at the bottom. Good, Calvin. That's right. Okay, pencils down and eyes up here, please. Calvin, we worked on hour and half hour and minute intervals. Now next time we're going to work on writing the time. Like we'll, sh we'll show 5 o'clock and then we'll write 5 o'clock. We'll show 4.30 and we'll write 4.30. That's what we'll work on tomorrow, okay? I'd like you people to very quietly take your pencils and go to the back table. Wait a minute. And your work is back there with this worksheet, okay? After I've collected your clock. 2.5 and 3.0, I'd like you up here, please. Lesson number two, cursive writing. In this second visit to Kelly Mitchell's classroom, 
we will see Kelly teaching a cursive writing lesson. In addition to the previously described model of instruction, observe how she has implemented a behavior management strategy with a certain student who is on an intermittent schedule of reinforcement. If the student is on task when his timer sounds, he may record the points he has earned. At the end of the day, if he has been on task 85% of the time, he is allowed to select a reward from the treasure chest as reinforcement for his behavior. Okay, for handwriting today, we're gonna work on the capital P and the capital R. I need all eyes up here, please, pencil and paper down. Okay. Okay, I want you to watch me on the board and listen to the steps. All right? This one starts at the middle line. The middle line. Where does it start? At the middle line. Where does it start? The middle line. Good. Listen. Up, down, retrace, around. Pretty easy. Okay? Listen again. Eyes up here, please. Where does it start? Where does the capital P start? Middle line. Where does it start? At the middle line. Okay. Up, down, retrace, around. Okay. You say it with me. Up, down, retrace, around. Good. Again. Up, down, retrace, around. Okay. Good fingers in the air. We'll do it in the air. Okay, where does the capital P start? In the middle. Okay, are you ready? Go. Up, down, retrace, around. Again, go. Up, down, retrace, around. Okay, we're going to say them together and do them. Get your pencils ready at the middle line. And I should hear everyone. Okay, ready, go. Up, down, retrace, around. Okay, stop. Next one, at the middle line. At the middle line. We'll go slower, Calvin. Okay, let's go slower. Ready, go. Up, down, retrace, around. Okay, let's try it again. Slower, please. Okay, at the middle line, where are we starting? At the middle line. Okay, ready, go. Up, down, retrace, around. Okay, at the middle line again. Ready? Wait a minute, Calvin. Let's all go together. Your pencil should just be sitting on the middle line. You can get your pencil. Okay. Get your pencils at the middle line. Okay, ready? Go. Up, down, retrace, around. Okay, people, eyes up here. Okay, you need to go a little slower, okay? Pencils at the center point again. Okay, ready? Go. Up, down, retrace, and around. Good. Next one. One more. At the middle line. Go. Up, down, retrace, and around. Good. Now I should hear you guys. Ready? Go. Up, down, retrace, around. Okay. Ready, Calvin? Middle line. Where are we starting? At the middle line. Okay, go. Up, down, retrace, and around. Okay, good. Okay, the, the other letter we're going to work on today is the capital R. Pencils down, please. It is very similar to the capital P. Okay, watch, please. Eyes up here. Start at the middle line. Where do you start? At the middle line. Okay. Capital R, up, down, retrace, around, loop, up. Okay? It's a little harder. It has this part. It's all that's different. 
Okay, eyes up here again and watch. Starts at the middle line. Where does it start? At, at the, the middle, middle line. line. Good. Okay. Up, down, retrace around, loop, and up. Okay, this time you say it with me. I should hear everyone. Up, down, retrace, around, loop, up. Okay? Again, eyes up here. Okay, let's go. Up, down, retrace, around, loop, and up. Good, let's do it in the air. Fingers in the air. Where are we starting at? At the middle line. Good, okay. Get your fingers at the middle line, our imaginary middle line. Okay, go. Up, down, retrace, around, loop, up. Good, let's try it again. Go. Up, down, retrace, around, loop, up. Okay, good. I li let's make them on your paper. Okay, get your pencil at the center line. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. I'll do it up in the air. Capital R starts where? At the middle line. Okay, ready, go. Up, down, retrace, around, loop, and up. Okay, it's okay. Calvin, look at me. We will slow down, okay? Okay, set your timer. <coughs> Okay, pencils at the center, center line. Okay, give yourself four. Okay, good. Okay, you ready? Get your pencil at the center line. And we need to go slower. Just kind of follow me, all right? Okay, you ready, Calvin? At the center line. Ready? Up. Down. Retrace. Around, loop, and up. Okay, good. Very good. Let's see some of these arts. Okay, we need to work on a little bit. Those are very nice. Good, good. Okay. Okay, again, you say it, you write it, and I'll do it in the air. Okay? Pencil should be where? At the middle line. Okay, let's go. Up, down. Retrace, around, loop, and up. Okay. I'd like you to make a row of keys. Eyes up here, please. I'd like a row of keys and a row of R's. Both of them start where? At the middle line. Okay. A line of keys and a line of R's. Go. Make your loop a little bigger. Okay, good, Sherry. Calvin, I need to hear you. Let's start all over. Where are we going to start at? Okay, you want to start at a new line? Okay, sit up straight, please. Okay, where are we going to start at? Top line, middle line, or bottom line? Okay, let's go. Up, I'll down, say it with you. Up, down, up, retrace, down, around. Good. Okay, now I want to keep hearing that as you make them. All right? I want to keep hearing that. Okay? Let's hear you do another one. Let's hear you do another one right here. Let's remember sitting position, Chris. Thank you. Let's hear you say one, Brian. 
Okay, is my capital P below the line? No. Is my loop below? If you are done, circle what you think mm -hmm. is the best That is a good one. I don't know that I would have picked that as a best There's a little gap here between that. Should that be That is a very good one, Calvin. Okay, I use up here, please. Okay, now we've worked on the capital P and the capital R. Let's quickly go through the other letters we've worked on, okay? One of the letters we worked on is the capital A. Raise your hand if you remember when the, where the capital A starts. Raise your hand if you remember where the capital A starts on the line. Eyes up here, please. <coughs> capital A. Good. Where does the capital A begin, everybody? At, At the, the top. top. Where does it begin? At, At the, the top. top. Good, okay. Say it as I make it. Your pencils and paper should be down. Chris? Eyes up here, please. Thank you. Okay, say it as I make it. Down, up, retrace. Okay, one more time. Down, up, retrace. Okay, good. Another letter we worked on was the capital L. Okay. Do you remember where the capital L starts? Raise your hand if you remember. Okay, everybody, good. Where does the capital L start? At the top. Good, okay. Ready? Say it with me. Up, down, loop. Okay, one more time. Up, down, loop. Um, the other letter we've worked on before is the capital B. Raise your hand if you remember where the capital B began. Capital B. Think of how you make a capital B. Okay, everybody, where does the capital B begin? At the top. Right, it's at the top. It's just a little ways between the top line and the middle line. Okay? Okay, say it with me. Up, down, retrace, around, and around. Okay, one more time because I'm going to have you make these letters on your paper. Go. Up, down, retrace, around, and around. Okay. On your paper. Eyes up here, please. Sitting position. I would like one row of the capital A's. And capital A's start at the... Top. Good. Where do they start? At the top. I want one row of capital L's. Where do they start, everyone? At the top. Okay. And I want one row of capital B's. Where do they start? At the top. Okay. Go. And I should hear you. Good. Those are perfect. Those are nice. Good. 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 See a lot of nice capital cursive letters. Good, Brian. Okay, good. Good. Okay, eyes up here, please. Pencils <coughs> down. Pencils down, eyes up here. Okay. Tomorrow we will work on the capital M and the capital N. Okay, and we will review the capital P and the capital R. Where do they both start? At the middle line. Where do they both start? At the middle line. Okay, next time we're going to have reading, and I would like to have Sunburst and Cloverleaf up here and um, Surprises and Honeycomb at the back table. Move quietly. Go. Lesson 3, Reading. This third lesson with Kelly Mitchell shows her teaching the long A vowel sound. Once again, observe how she utilizes this very powerful model of direct instruction and behavior management to keep her learners' attention focused on the instructional objective and to elicit their responses to the learning. Okay, eyes up here, please. Daytime sitting position. Therese, eyes up here. Okay, today for reading, we're going to work on the long 
A sound. But first, let's review the short A sound. Raise your hand if you remember what the short A says. Short A sound. Good. Does everybody remember? Okay. Short A says ah. ah. What does short A say? Ah. ah. Good. Cat. Raise your hand if, if you know if that's short. Is that a short A sound? Cat. Is that a short A sound? Cat. At. Has everybody decided? Okay. Yes or no? Is cat a short A sound? Yes. Good. It is. Okay. Because it says ah. What does it say? Ah. ah. Good. Okay. What about the word fast? Fast. Raise your hand. Fast. When you're ready. Fast. Okay, good. Fast. Is that a short A sound, yes or no? Yes. Very good. Okay, today we're going to work on long A. Long A says A. Repeat that with me, please. Ready, go. Long A says A. What does long A say? A. What does short A say? A. Okay, do you hear the difference? Listen to me. Long A says A says its own name. Short A says ah. Raise your hand if you hear the difference.